Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a cinematic text reveal just like this one. Now, this looks like something that was done in Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, but it's just made inside Keynote. A year ago or so, I made this video where I talked about how to use alpha channel videos inside uh, Keynote, and I gave some different examples. So that shark one was one of those examples where this is just a video with transparency, which is over the top, and then the text comes through underneath it with a wipe that makes it look like it's a cinematic text reveal from a video editing software, but it's not, it's just in Keynote. So just to keep it simple, I won't use a video here like this one, but let's just keep it simple. So I will use a shape. So if you search, you can find, for example, there's shark. So here's the shark we wanted to go through, and then after the tail is going to reveal. So how do we do that? So there are a couple of ways to do it, but in this case, I just put a move on it. So for that, you would go up to uh, animate, action, then choose move. And I put a duration of uh, three seconds on it. So you can see it right there. And to make that happen, I also put an animation on the text, which is a build in in this case, and it's a wipe. So you can see how that comes in. Now to make it work though, it's all about the timing. So the duration of the wipe itself is just a little less than one second. And then this is the important part, the build order. So the shark comes in on click, so when I want it to, and then the text will come in, but there's a delay. This is very important because it takes about 1.25 seconds for the shark to get in the right position right here. And then the type comes in. So that's how you do it. It's all about the build order and then the animation. Okay, so here's another example where the rocket comes in, and then the text is revealed. And the moon surface also kind of had a little animation with it, a little movement with it, and then the spaceman comes through, the astronaut, and reveals the text right there. So how do I do that? Well, we can learn how to do that just by examining. Okay, there's the text. Text has a wipe of 1.5 seconds. The rocket is over here, off screen, and that is a build-in. So it's just going to come from the left, to the right, and that takes four seconds. So, and then in terms of build order, the build order looks like this. There's a video behind there, so that video is gonna start right away. Then on my command, on click, I have the rocket move in, and also at the same time, so it's with the second build, with build two, that's the rocket, this moon surface is gonna move just a little bit. You can see the move down there. And then the text has a wipe on it here for about 1.5 seconds, so it's a gradual wipe in timing, so the timing is very important. And then the second one too, there is a motion path. So if you wanna know how to do the motion path, that's in my previous video. And then again, this is a wipe. It has a delay on it because it takes the astronaut about 2.75 seconds to get over there. You can see it looks like that. It's on a motion path, comes through, and then there's the wipe, which is just right behind. So it's on a different layer. And it looks like this. So the rocket comes in, that's a build in, and then the text has a wipe and that timing is set then the astronaut is bouncing through and as he comes across, the text is revealed underneath. Okay, let's look at a, a different example where in this case, we don't have to use a wipe, but it really does look like it was just a text reveal, boom, just like it was a wipe. But actually, so here it is here. If we move the text up and then you can kind of see how we did it, boom, it just comes in. But because it's underneath, we don't actually see when it comes in and then the truck goes by and gives it the reveal. So boom, it comes in. But it doesn't seem like that. It seems like it's just a very smooth reveal. So in that case, if your text can be covered by whatever object is on top, then it could just be on a peer. And then you just have to worry about the timing. So in this case with the text, there's no, in this case with the text here, it's just an appear. So what's important is not how long a peer doesn't, appear is just a peer, just boom, comes in. But it's all about the um, when it comes in. So there's a delay of about a second and a half because the, the truck takes, um, how long does the truck take? The truck has three seconds. So yeah, it's about half, right? That, so that makes sense. So we bring, bring the truck over here. Again, we preview it and you can see about, right, boom, it just comes in. But notice if we're off just a little bit, for example, just a little bit off and then the text comes in, boom, the, the illusion's totally gone. Or if it's too late, a little bit late, and, you know, the illusion is completely gone. But right here, it's just perfect. We don't see when it comes in. Boom, it's just smooth. It just looks like a, a wipe or it just looks like a text reveal. Okay, but the question is, what about if we use video? So in this case, I have a video here and this is just in Keynote, right? So I can't put the text behind this subject at all, of course, but I can have a wipe that's in sync. So let's see what it looks like. 
so our subject in the video comes by and it gives the illusion if you didn't know it's just like it's smoothly coming in so the keynote wipe is not a sharp one it's a little little bit of a dissolve on the edge which actually in cases like this works out well so that's the effect we have that's a video but with text on top but it seems like the text is on the bottom or on the other side of the subject as if the subject is revealing it here's another one same idea right so we have a text appearing as if it's being as if it's on the other side so we just it's all about having the timing of the wipe so if we look here we have our video and we just have if we look at build order we have the video starts right right after the transition then the text has a wipe in it with a 1.5 second delay and the timing of the wipe is eight seconds so it's quite long you just and you just have to experiment with it in terms of the timing and in terms of the duration and you can kind of guess at first and it won't it, it'll never be perfect the first time but you can just kind of mess with it by the way it goes in 0.25 increments but you can always change that you can always just type in the number that you want and then also this rectangle here with the opacity turned down so if we turn it up, it's just a, a box there, but it has an animation. It has a lens flare animation so that we get this effect. Text wipes in, and then there's a lens flare, which is on the, on the other side of the text. And then this flows into the quote. So the way that that works is from this one, there is a magic move in between. If we look at this solitude, it, it's separate. So that text and this text is the same. So I just copied this, pasted it here, and then reduced the size. And then we get this effect. Okay, here, here's another one. And then we want the boy in the rocket ship to come by and there's the wipe, the text reveal. So the text has a wipe and what this is, if I kind of make it smaller so you can see, but that, that's just the, the rocket ship which has a move to it. And then this is a video, which is just the flame. So that video also has a move to it. And so these are just going to move across together and you can see it's two second duration and in terms of build order you can see that the, the flame movie starts and then we move the boy and we move the fire and there's a logo that goes along with it and then the text comes in with a 1.25 delay all right thank you very much 